Welcome to a little bit of practice on equivalent expressions. Hey, if you're in one of my classes, you might have noticed that this is one of my favorite types of problems. So let's do this. Of course, the strategy, which we've talked about in class, is first we want to simplify our original expression here. We simplify by using distribution to get rid of the parentheses. Okay, so we're going to go negative 3 times negative 2x makes 6x. And then we're also going to distribute the negative 3 over here, which gives us a negative 24. So this is what we're really looking for. Now, a problem like this, I don't know, this may show up on a standardized test as well. A problem like this is, you're going to take each one of these choices and you're going to circle all the ones that match. So this will have more than one choice that's correct. It might have none. It might have all of them be correct. So you actually have to go through each one. This is like eight problems in one. But it gets you very well practiced in this idea of getting rid of parentheses through distribution and then making a comparison. So. Look at A, for example. A is not a match because we have this negative sign here. So A is a no. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't give you a chance. Hey, stop the video. <laughs> stop the video and go through and uh, see which choices match, okay? Sorry, I stole that learning opportunity from you. Put it on pause. Find all the matches you can. Then let's go over it. Bye. Okay, now that you've had a chance to do it yourself, I feel a little bit better about going through this. Sorry, I just got so excited. I wanted to get busy. Okay, here we go. This one here. We got 12 stays the same. 3 times 2x equals 6x. And 3 times negative 12, negative 36. When I put the negative 36 and the positive 12 together, I get 6x minus 24. So this one is a yes. That's a match. C obviously is a match. I sure hope you caught that one. We don't have to do anything there. <clears throat> the thing is, if, if you completed this part of the problem wrong, you probably would not pick C. So the critical part is this one. Very important. Okay. On to part D. Um, 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. So that's a match. Next, this is distributing the 6 to the x and to a negative 4. 6 times 4 is 24, but there's the negative sign. Wow, are all of these going to match? Hmm, well, no, of course not. F doesn't match. G doesn't match. H doesn't match. Okay? Now you might think, well, those are silly answers. Of course they don't match. But it all comes back up to here. If you did not distribute this negative 3 correctly to both of these terms inside the parentheses, then they would lead you to those answers potentially. Okay, so based on the mistakes you made, you may have chosen A, F, G, or H. Hopefully you didn't. B, C, D, E were the correct answers. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again, I hope. Hey, subscribe, and then you, it's a no-brainer. You just get all these new videos right away. Take care, and I'll talk to you later.